Thank you. Based on the popular comic books, this show is meant to show what superheroes' lives would probably look like when they clock out and head home after a long shift of crime fighting. Long ago, a little girl is a victim of a terrorist attack and survives. She thinks that her survival and existence is luck, but later realizes that it's all in her blood. She's a legacy member of a secret society and is next in line to uphold their way of life. A flashback episode shows the founding members and gives us an origin story on how this all got started. The little girl grows up to be a hero and has to live a double life to protect the people close to her, her husband, and kids. Her marriage seems solid as a rock, but it's built on lies. She's keeping a secret from her spouse. What makes the keeping the secret part so bad is that her husband suffers from amnesia. He doesn't have any memories prior to his marriage so it's kind of suspect that his wife would keep secrets from him that could help him unlock his memory. The couple pops up on the government's radar. The family's under close surveillance and Big Brother learns the true identities of the husband and wife. The husband used to be a superhero. He took on a new identity to play house with the woman he loves. A dead uncle once said that with great power comes great responsibility. The powerful hero on the show uses their fake power to create a fake world and then creates life from scratch. The science project seems cool as hell until the hero adds kidnapping into the mix. A human is trapped as a prisoner in the simulation. Time is relative in this module because the kids grow up quick, fast, and in a hurry. So even though the prisoner is trapped for a couple of episodes, it may feel like years to them. Later on, the wife gets a visit from a family member who's also a crime fighter. Blood is thicker than water, but water tastes better. The family has some issues, and their Jerry Springer-type reunion exposed a lot of family secrets. It's amazing how the heroes were able to keep this a secret for as long as they did. Except they really didn't, though. A family friend does some snooping around and learns their secrets. On an episode where the wife visits a secret passage of the spy's house, we learn that the family friend has evil ties and has been lying from the start. The secret is out and dangerous people want to steal the husband's power to create a weapon that they could control. He's transported to a place where his powers are obsolete and he's so weak that he literally kneels before the evil men. His wife arrives in the nick of time to try to save him. But first she has to get through the evil lady. The evil lady wants the superhero's power. When Kanye said one man can't have all that power, he didn't mean to be sexist because one woman can't have it either. The good news is that they defeat her. The bad news is, after the dust settles, the husband disappears and the woman is all alone now. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>